crescent moon negative space is the nail. Greg's gonna show you how to do right now. <laughs> I want to be able to show you how to use your acrylic powders to create a crescent shape negative space design. The key is building the body first and then filling in with color before you actually have to file the stylish moon into shape. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to prepare the nail surface first and I'm going to remove shine from the surface of the natural nail uh, using my electric file. Okay, so again, need to make sure that I'm running at a really low, gentle speed. 3000 RPMs is really, really good for you to feather away the shine in a very, very gentle manner. Once I've removed shine from the surface, what I'm gonna do is use swipe going to do is we're going to pump the top and I'm just going to lightly dust the surface of the nail. This is going to prepare it for protein bond application. Right. So once we've applied two coats of protein bond on the surface, we're going to pretend, right? We're going to go through all 10 nails. And then once we're done, we're going to go back and we're going to apply one more. This is prepped and ready to go. I'm going to use cover pink. And what we're going to do is when I lay the acrylic down, I want to be able to lay it down so that it's literally going to be a crescent shape all the way down to this point. It's almost like I'm doing a smile line, but on one side of the nail. Before I begin doing that, I'm going to take a nail form. I'm going to place this underneath the natural nail. And I want to be able to create a ledge so that when you're building the acrylic, it doesn't just drop off the side of the nail. I'm going to take a small bead of acrylic. I'm going to dab off the excess so that it's super dry. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add it right here to the very, very front. And notice once I actually get this up into the natural nail, what I want to be able to do is just kind of shave it. You can see the natural smile. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure that everything dips down and into form all the way down to the side, just like this. So it's, it's kind of, you can see how it, it curves down because I want it to come down through here and then I want it to be able to follow down all the way down to the corner. So I need to make sure that when I set the acrylic down, I have this little bit of a ledge to work off of. It's kind of an off-centered nail extension, okay? All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take a nice bead. I'm gonna bounce a few times. I'm going to let this set. When I set this to the side, I, I want to, Keep in mind that when I press this tight, I'm gonna let this run. Notice how everything is actually running down towards this edge and I'm keeping it all thick right through here. So I, I need to make sure that it's nice and tight all the way through. And then once I get it down to this point, what I'm going to do is I'm almost going to cut in my edge with my brush. all the way through and then I'm shaping this all the way down just to make sure that we're going to be able to keep that nice moon shape. So as you can see that nice moon shape right from the back end of the cuticle area you can see the ledge starts all the way from back here and then I follow it all the way down I'm leaving a little bit of space down the side and all the way through. Okay, so it's really important that we don't disrupt the bond. So when it is dry, what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to run my file really nice and gentle along the edge. All right, so you can see I'm holding my file to do it on this top end. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow below really, really gentle. I don't want to disrupt the form as well. So what we're doing is all we're doing is really kind of shaping that edge 
that it's really sharp. Just going to lightly dust away any loose dust. Before filling in with Flower Festival, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit of protein bond for insurance and run it along the natural nail and the side of the acrylic that I filed in. This is going to ensure that I'm gonna have an excellent bond. Okay, now what we wanna be able to do is use Flower Festival and fill in the negative space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from the tip, I'm going to get a nice, healthy amount I'm going to dab off the acrylic. I'm going to set this right to the front of the nail. And then I'm going to use the body of the brush and I'm going to walk it up the sides, right? Like I'm doing a smile line. So you can see I'm actually filling in the space. What we're gonna do is try to get that really nice almond shaped tip. Fill as much space as we possibly can. So once we're done doing this, I can focus on the back end. All right, so what we need to do is we need to get a small amount. I'm gonna use this a little bit wet. And I'm going to set this right here. And then I'm barely using the tip of my brush just to kind of filling this in. I need to guide this down so that it connects right to the edge. Don't worry about getting it on top. You're gonna to be able to file away all of that loose product on the surface. Okay, just a little bit more. Just kinda of wanna fill in some of the space that I have on top. That way I have room to file it into shape. Okay, we're gonna let this set and then we're gonna file this into perfection. Okay, the product is dry. We're gonna go ahead and remove the form. I'm going to start by actually shaping my sides to make sure that it's all even. All right, make sure that everything is even from the top. Make sure my lower arches are perfectly straight. Now what we're going to do is we're going to file the surface and you're going to see the line really come up. So if I'm filing around the cuticle area, just make sure that we don't go too aggressive. Don't want to file all the color, but you can see how sharp that line is. Working in one direction, making sure it's tight. I need to come down through the upper arch, make sure this is all even. And then now you can see as I'm coming through the body, look at how sharp that line becomes. And again, notice that I'm working all in one direction. Once we have a majority of the bulk removed, I'm going to use my hand file to file this into perfection and the design will be done. After applying stain resistant top coat to the surface, make sure that you set it inside the light for the full two minutes, wipe it, and you're gonna have a brilliant shine. Hey guys, what's going on? We hope you love our videos. Let us know in the comments below what you wanna see next. To see more, head over here. To subscribe to our channel, head over here.